Percy Gregory and I'm a 22-year-old wildlife cameraman, and I've travelled to the west coast of Vancouver Island. Hey there. For the next three months, I'm going to be tracking down the biggest, sexiest, most charismatic animals that call this place their home. From tracking leopards in Mumbai to swimming with sea lions and camping with the sea wolves of Vancouver, photographer and filmmaker, you saw him right there, Bertie Gregory, is so passionate about wildlife and wants you to be too. He joins us this morning to inspire a whole new generation of wildlife lovers. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for having me. And he's already laughing. We've been having some fun chats. <laughs> First of all, you're only 24 years young. When did you fall in love with wildlife and documenting it through film and photography? Uh, well, I've been obsessed with, with wildlife from a pretty young age, I guess. Yeah. From when I was around 12 was when I, I realized that it was a weird thing, um, <laughs> and I just couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. An amazing thing, and that's why you're already so great at it. So let's talk about the fact that you fell in love with our West Coast. How come? How did that come to be? Yeah, so I was, I was kind of taken under the wing of a, a wildlife tour guide out on Vancouver Island, and he taught me kind of everything I needed to know to find the animals out there. And... Um, yeah, I just got totally obsessed with, with that place, you know, the beautiful temperate rainforest and then, of course, all of the big animals, the bears, the wolves, eagles, whales. Wow. And you really talk about wildlife coexisting with cities and, and being in our backyard and documenting that. Let's take a look at, there was one close encounter you had with the leopards in Mumbai. So they live amongst everybody in the city? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, what... I'm not going to pretend that cities are this Garden of Eden for wildlife. They're not. They're really bad for most animals uh, and plants and things. But there are a few animals that are able to live alongside humans. Um, wow. And there is an amazing situation in India, in Mumbai, where there are leopards that spend uh, the day in the safety of this, this national park that's surrounded by the city. And then at night, they come into the streets and, and hunt stray animals. Yeah. So isn't that endangering the citizens, or have they learned to coexist? They, they've largely learned to coexist, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a difficult situation because it's a load of leopards right next to a, a really high concentration of people. But, yeah, they, they have found a way to, to live alongside each other, which is pretty exciting. And it takes a lot of patience to do what you do to get that moment. Let's take a look at a clip. It involves a wolf? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So this is uh, on Vancouver Island. Okay. Too close. Too close. Yeah, back up, please. Just gotta let it know I'm, let it know I'm here. I didn't want to spook it when it was really close. But this is the single most incredible wildlife count I've ever had. Is that the scariest and closest it ever got for you? No, so I, I mean, I wasn't saying too close because I was scared. I just didn't want to spook it when it was really, really close. Okay. Because um, I, I think um, you, you mentioned about patience. I, I disagree. I don't think it is patience. I'm not a patient person. I think the key to filming wildlife and waiting for a really long time is, is passion instead. Um, you know, stubbornness. Yeah, I want to <laughs> sit here and wait until I'll see something that maybe no one else will get to see. And that's, that's why I sit there. Yeah. Now, you have two talks happening in town at Roy Thompson Hall, one tonight, one tomorrow at 8 p.m. You say all ages should be coming because you want people to get their heads out of their smartphones and connect back with nature. So how do we do it without going on cool, you know, Totally. adventures like you yeah have. well you don't need to go halfway across the planet to see cool wildlife there's amazing wildlife right in cities i mean my favorite animal the peregrine falcon lives in cities and i understand that toronto has has loads of them so yeah. who, who wouldn't want to see the fastest animal in the world right on their doorstep and you were the first to do a National Geographic digital series for wildlife. So this means this is just the beginning for you. And we have our own Julian who came in on his day off. He spent much time in Africa. He brings us all information about our owls, and he's already shaking his head. Jules, <laughs> what is your question? We have a Q&A starting right now for one Bertie Gregory. I have really nothing to say because I know him, and we were <laughs> talked all yesterday and whatnot. So I'm sure questions will come to me afterwards, but... You're a fan There's of his work. Else, yeah, I'm a big fan of his, and he's a great inspiration to young people and everything. So, so good job, Brady. So well Thanks, said. Uh, the fact that he came in on a up, Monday, yeah. right, <laughs> on his day off. And what do you want to say to kids out there in terms of getting outside, exploring, connecting with nature? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's wildlife everywhere. Um, you've just got to look for it. And, yeah, just spend as much time outside as possible because, you know, 
being passionate about wildlife and looking after wildlife isn't just a good thing for wildlife, it's good for us as well. You know, it makes you feel good. A pleasure meeting you. Thanks very much for You're having me. You're doing some great work. Make sure you see Bertie Gregory. As we mentioned, he will be hosting a talk at Roy Thompson Hall tonight as well as tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So go check it out. For more information, just head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Yeah, you could definitely camp outside here. You'll see a lot of wildlife, <laughs> especially in this area at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Thank Different you kind so of much. Wildlife. Yeah, exactly. Uh, over to you, Mel.